Right, let's go add some more text then. I need things up the top around this masthead like the price and the date, stuff like that. So click T for text, add text. Um, I've already changed the size so it's much smaller and I've changed the colour to white. So just click in the box, hold down the backspace key to delete that. Um, let's have the date. Um, it's once a month magazines are published and they always write the actual date, so uh, the month date, so April 2020. Click away from the box and then you can move it to wherever you want it. I'm going to have that over there. Okay. And click away. That looks all right. I might change the colour. I'm not sure. Um, right, add some more text. Uh, let's have a price. So mine's going to be £3.50. Click away. Position it where you want it. Um, I'm going to click away. I'm going to add uh, also a website, so add text. Backspace. I'm going to have www.peaktails.co.uk. Click away from the box. I'm going to have that up there. Okay. So um, just have a look over this layers panel here. Um, can you see the um, sliding cursor here? Can you see now that we've got look a whole quite a lot of different layers? All right, so I've got the image, well, I've got the background, the image, the masthead, and all my different bits of text. So if I want to go back and make changes to anything, um, I need to click over here. So if I want to change the the date to something else, if I click that blue you can see that I'm now working on that layer. So if I wanted to change the color of that layer, for example, say I wanted that black, you can see it change. Okay, click away. So do remember that you've got an awful lot of stuff going on now and the more things we add, the more layers you will have. So don't try and change things unless you've actually got it highlighted. So now I could make changes to the masthead if I wanted, okay. The other thing to remember, if I want to make changes to anything that is uh, an image and not text, you need to get this T for text button turned off. So I need to go back over here to my normal moving tool. And now you can see I've highlighted masthead. Now you can see the outline of my masthead, which is an actual picture. So don't forget text on if you're doing text stuff and text off if you're doing image stuff. Before you add any stories, any cover lines, I highly recommend having a good look at magazines in your genre. So I'm doing a dog one. So I've just called up all these dog magazine uh, images, these real front covers, because I'm going to steal some stories. I'm going to have a look and see what stories they've got. And then I'm going to steal some of them. Um, I'm also going to have a look at how they do it. For example, here, eight vital lessons to learn about your dogs. I like the way that's laid out with a really big uh, letter, a really big number eight, and then the color of that blended with the masthead. So that's something I might, I might steal that idea. The joys of spring, that looks quite nice. So do have a look and steal some of the stories, change them a bit, but just, it's the way they're written See how they're short and snappy? They're not telling you the whole story. They're just giving you a headline. Here comes the bride, a sting in the tail. It doesn't give you too much detail about uh, anything. And it does tend to have lots of different sizes of texts, sometimes a background behind the text. And that rule of three, you know, three basic colors so that you blend it nicely.